Right, before we start, let's just talk setup. So installed on your machine, you're gonna need Node.js if you don't already have it. And for a code editor, I'm gonna use this, VS Code, in case you don't have any of this. Awesome, right, let's go. Let's open up a terminal, and I'm gonna CD into my sites folder, and then let's open our browser back up. I'm gonna go in vitejs.dev forward slash guide, and I'm gonna scroll down to this section, and I'm gonna grab this line, I'm gonna copy it, minimize this for now, I'm back into the terminal, paste this in, and I'm gonna rename this to Netflix clone, enter. Okay, select the framework, view, select the variant, we'll do customize with create view, and TypeScript, no, JSX, no, view router, we don't need it in this, no, Pinia, yes, unit testing, no, end to end testing, no, and ESLint for code quality, no. Okay, let's CD into that file. And then we want to say npm i to install all the dependencies. Okay, they're installed. Now before we npm run dev, let's go and install Tailwind. Let's open our browser back up. And we're going to say vite install Tailwind. There we go, tailwindcss.com devs guide vite. And let's make sure we're using Vue like that. And I scroll down because we don't need this top bit. We've already created a project. So we can start from this line, install some more dependencies, Chuck it in there, install it. Okay, let's get the next line. Let's copy that, paste them in. Very good. Now let's open VS Code. And I'm just gonna open my sites folder quickly. And where is it? Netflix clone, let's grab it and drop it in. Awesome, that is in there. Let's just open this up a little bit. And on the side, you can see tailwind.config.js. Let me just zoom in a little bit like that. That's a bit better. Right, let's continue. After this line, we need to add this stuff into our Tailwind config, so copy that. Let's go back to our project, tailwindconfig.js, and this content section replace with that. Save it. Go back into the docs, and we're going to take all of this style.css stuff, copy it. Go back into the project, and then go into source, asset, the base CSS. We can delete, get rid of that, move to trash. Main CSS, let's go into it highlight everything, delete it, and then paste in what we got from the Tailwind documentation, save it. Now go into components, remove all of these components, just delete it. So delete, move to trash, and then go into app.view, and we got two components at the top, don't need them, delete. Everything in the template, delete, and all of this style stuff, we can also delete. Save it. Now, just so we can see it works, let's put a div, class, text red 900, save it, and then just inside put text here. Right, save that. Let's go back in our terminal, and then we're going to say npm run dev. Then we've got our little URL, copy that, minimize this, go back into the browser, open a new tab, chuck it in, and press enter. And is that red? Let me just make it lighter. Let's say 400, save. Yeah. It's working, awesome, right, we're ready. Okay, and actually first, let's again import our NPM packages we need, because it's way easier to do it now, and then we don't have to think about it later. So what we're gonna need is to say NPM I, and the first package is my favorite, view material design icons, and the second is gonna be view three carousel, enter, awesome. Okay, very good, now let's jump into our script section, and let's import everything we need. So we're gonna need an on-mounted and a ref. Let's get all of the icons we need from the view material design icons package. That's gonna be magnify, home outline, trending up, television, movie outline, plus and chevron left. We also should import Pinia, and that's gonna look like that. And you can see it says stores movie. We haven't made that yet, so let's open the side panel. Go into stores and counter JS, rename, say movie. Now let's go into movie.js. And this is very simple. Strip all of this stuff out, remove this anonymous function thing, get rid of ref and computed. And all we're going to put in this is a state with movie that is null and show full video, which is default false. And let's just not forget to replace counter with movie and the same there, movie. Awesome. Save. Right. Close that window and the main CSS and the config. And we're just in our app.view, which is perfect. Let's close this terminal so we've got a bit more space. And right, let's go nuts. Let's get rid of this text and this class. We're going to replace with fixed, width full, height screen, and BG black. Inside that, another div. 
open him up. Class it with Flex Z40 item sender width 120 pixels, height screen BG black and relative. We also want to add an ID onto this that says side nav so we know exactly what it is and i'm gonna add a vf onto this and it's gonna look like this so if show full video is false then show it awesome save and you can see now the entire screen is black perfect right next at the top of this we're gonna have a logo but for now we won't worry about that we're gonna go and get the um images all the videos and stuff for that in a little while but for now we'll just make all the template stuff i'm just gonna put here image like that if I just save it and now underneath where it says image div it open and inside that another div and this we're gonna add a class with py2 mx10 my6 now inside this we want our first icon which is going to be magnify fill color white size 40 and cursor pointer let's save it let's go and have a look there we go we can see our little icon and it's very far over the page. I think it's because of that image text. If I just put an N there like that, that's a bit better. Now if I put, yeah, we can just leave that like that for now because it's going to be replaced anyway. Okay, awesome. Continue. Right, we take this little magnify section, copy it, paste it beneath. Everything else in this outer div is the same except we add two extra classes which is going to be border b4 and border b red 500 and the icon becomes home outline let's save it take a look look at that beautiful and now all we have to do for the rest of these is this magnify icon copy it paste change it to trending up then copy paste change to television copy paste change to movie outline copy it, paste it, and this last one is plus. Right, save it, let's have a look. Beautiful, look at that, nice and easy. Okay, right, I mean, just so we don't have to mess about, let's go and get our assets, like our images and videos and stuff. So let me open this browser. I'm gonna go to GitHub forward slash John Weeks Dev, and there it is, Netflix clone, awesome. Right, if you go into public, and you'll see there's images and videos. You need to download everything in images and everything in videos, and it needs to be in the same file structure like this. So if I show you exactly how it should look, open this side panel, go into public, it should look something like that. So images, videos, and you can see inside it, loads of images of all the movies, and it's pretty much the same with the video section. If I go in videos, I got all these little videos that I named the same as the movie. Awesome. So now they're in there. Close all these up. Close this public and close this image. Right, close the side panel. And instead of having this end here, let's just put the image in. So image, alt, don't need it. On this, we're going to have a little class and it's going to be absolute top zero width 35 MT10 ML10. And then the source is going to be images Netflix logo.png. And if you save that, we go back to the browser. I mean, we can close pretty much all of this. Let me just close, 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 and the GitHub. There, beautiful. There's our little logo at the top. Absolutely spiffing. Right. Oh, and actually, I forgot we need the movie.json. So quickly just jump back into GitHub. Let's open it. And again, go in SRC and this movies.json. Click that and you'll see this massive JSON file with all of this stuff in. It's pretty much three different rows of movies for our carousel. So you have the zero index there, the one index there. There's another one that is a two index. And I've just taken all the movies, jumbled them up so it looks a little bit different. So all you have to do is take this JSON file like that, highlight it all, copy it. Now we can close GitHub. Let's go back into our project, open the side panel, and this main.js, I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to call it movies.json, save, get rid of all of this, and paste that JSON in. Save it. Beautiful. Let's close the side panel and our JSON file now. And what we can do at the top of this in the script, underneath on mounted, we want to add import movies from movies.json. And for our on mounted import, let's go underneath the pinier stuff. We're just going to say on mounted and then set timeout at 100 milliseconds and then set the movie on mount. So it's the first one in the first line. Awesome. Okay, right, let's continue. So just before the last div, open it up, div it. This is going to have just a VF, show full video is false show it now inside this another div open him and class it with fixed flex z20 top zero right zero width full height 50 bg black pl 120 pixels and bg clip border right now if we add in a video so 
video and let's just close that off don't need the ending tag and actually just remove this for now and new line it like that first thing we're going to say is if a movie exists show it next we want the source so that's going to be from videos and then the movie name mp4 we want it to autoplay we also want it to loop and we're going to check a bit of class on it and that's going to be absolute z0 height 600 pixels right zero and top zero right if i save that and you can see it right there oh look at him freaking awesome man okay let's continue right now above this we're going to make our first component and this is very easy so just above video Make a space and we're going to say movie details, close that off. And we're going to add a VF movie. So if it exists and a prop of movie. Okay. Now let's scroll to the top. Make sure we don't forget to import that. So underneath this Chevron left import movie details from components, movie details. And we haven't made that. So let's go and make it go into components, new file, movie details dot view. Let's do a V base setup style. We don't need any of that. And the script for this is super easy. It is just define props movie. That's it. Right now on this div, we're going to add a VF movie. So if a movie exists, show. And a class Z40 text white with 53 pixels and PT20. Next inside that, div and class it with text 55 pixels, font semi bold, and font serif. And all we're going to put in this is movie.name. And if we quickly jump into our movies.json, you can see there we've got name, description, year, and genre. Awesome. Let's close that. Right under that divot class it with flex item sender text lg and pt4 and then just a div inside it movie.year and then underneath that div open him class it with a relative now inside this we want a span or a dot there and then we're going to add a class to him it's going to say absolute left two pixels minus top 12 pixels and text 40 underneath that span again class it with pl4 and this one is going to be movie.genre.1 now if we save that and go and take a look uh we can't see anything oh i forgot to save app.view so save have a look okay we can see it coming in look at that man awesome all right let's go back into movie details and this is super easy copy this div that is relative copy paste beneath movie genre one becomes movie genre two copy it again paste it and then this one becomes three now before we have a look just one div before the last one all we can add in is div with a class text to Excel, PT6, and movie.description. Save it. Let's have a look. Look at that. Beautiful. How easy is that? And we can see him coming over. Beautiful, man. Awesome. Right, let's do our video carousel. Go back in the code and let's take this video and one div down, make a space, div it, and class it with fixed Z30, bottom zero, right zero, width full, height 55%, PL 120 pixels, and overflow Y auto. Now, inside this is where our video carousel is going to be. So that is going to look like that. So video carousel, class PB14 and PT14 category popular movies and movies as a prop we're passing movies the first object or the zero index and just so we don't have to mess about if we just add in the other two it's gonna look like that so on the second one the, the padding bottom is the same on the third one padding bottom 32 category horror and feature and then the indexes are zero one and two awesome right we don't want to forget to import it so let's scroll to the top and just above movie details, let's import video carousel from components. Now let's open the side panel and go and make it. So let's duplicate movie details, duplicate, and we'll rename this to video carousel dot view, save it. Right, let's go inside video carousel, drip all of this template out and get rid of everything in the script. Now we are going to need a little bit of style in this. So beneath we need some style tags with this inside. So carousel prev and next and also the hover and just put inside color white. That's it. Right next let's sort out our script. So first we want to import ref and two refs from view and the carousel.css and also the components we need from view3 carousel. Next we need pinia. 
and that's going to look like that. So we're importing the movie store and then putting the stores to refs. We need a little variable called current slide. Then we can define our props. So we've got category and movies. And now after this, we're going to have two functions and they're very simple. First one is going to be current slide object. And we're just passing the slide and the index. And if index is equal to the current slide, assign the slide to the movie dot value. And the second one is called full screen video. And we're passing the index and assigning that index to the current slide and then show full video is equal to true and that's it save that right let's go to our template and let's chuck in a div class it with min width 1200 pixels and relative next div class it with flex justify between and mr6 now inside this we need a div with a class of flex item center font semi bold text wide text to xl and cursor pointer and inside it just put category now let's save it and take a look let's have a little refresh oh sh there we go coming together awesome right let's continue right next we need our carousel and if we go one div from the bottom let's open that up add our carousel like so open him up and we're going to add quite a few things to this so we want ref carousel v model with the current slider items to show is eight Items to scroll is one. Wrap around is true, so I mean it's like an infinite loop. Transition 500 milliseconds, snap a line start, and class BG transparent. Right next inside that, we need another component from View 3 Carousel, and that is going to be slide. Let's open that up, and we're going to add three things onto this. The first two is going to be V4 and a key. So we're looping through the movies, Jason, and then we're spitting it out as one slide each. And also the third one, we just need to add a class that is going to be flex, item center, object cover, text white, and BG transparent. Cool. Right. If we quickly just dump this slide out like so, and we save it, we should see all of the information we need for our slide. Let's save it. And look, you can see it already. Beautiful. Scroll him. Oh, look how awesome that is. Drag it across. Awesome. Look at that. Freaking awesome, man. Okay, let's go back to our code. And where this slide is, we're going to put in a div, open him up, open this top bit up. And the first thing we're going to add is an add click event with our full screen video, the function we added right there. We want to add a class on him as well, and that's going to be object cover, height 100%, hover brightness 125, and cursor pointer. And then lastly on this div, we're going to add a dynamic class where we say, if the current slider is not equal to index, we have border four and the border is transparent, else border four and the border is white. And we also got this little current slide object function passing slide and index. And again, that is this right by here. Very simple. Awesome, right. All we have to do now is add the image. And that looks like that. Super simple. Got a class with pointer events none, height 100%, Z minus one, and this little style with user select none, I couldn't figure out how to do it in Tailwind, so I just added it like that. And then the SRC, which is images, slide.name.png. Now, if we save this, we should see all of our images. So let's save, let's go back into a browser, refresh. Oh, sh look at that. Beautiful, that is. Let's quickly add in our navigation. Very easy. Just under this slide, just add in template, add-ons, navigation, save it. Now let's go back in the browser, refresh. And there we go. We can see our little chevron right there. If we click it, oh, look at it. Beautiful. That is insane. Now, you can see we've got this little side bit. We need to put the gradient over the video so it blends together. So let's jump back into app.view and scroll down. Just above movie details, we need to add a div with no end tag. So div and then just close it off like that. So a single one. And then just add a class that is going to be absolute Z30, height 600 pixels, left 120 pixels, width 77%, right zero, top zero, BG gradient 2R, so the gradient is going to the right, from black, via black, so the via is the middle section. Okay, let's save it. Let's go take a look. Look at that. Look how that looks like it's just fading into black. Amazing. And the final bit, 
we need to do a little click. So if you click this now, it does go to the page, but we need to make sure we display a video. So let's just go back. Okay. And also, let's just change this video to this bullet train. If you can see underneath the video, so this little section, that needs a gradient as well. So let's put that in, put this back over here. So underneath video carousel, let's go two divs down. So one, two, open this and we're just going to add in a div with a class that is absolute z20 height 70 percent left 120 pixels width 100 percent right zero bottom zero bg gradient 2t so now from the bottom to the top and again from black and via black we save and i can see it already now you can see it's been blended in so if you scroll this you can see everything behind it looks like it's been kind of smudged into black very cool Awesome. Right. Put this back over there. Let's just do our video section and then we're done. Okay, go back in the code. Underneath all this class by here, we're going to add another div. And we're going to add on this, V if show full video is true, show this section. Now, add a div, class it up with absolute Z50, P2, M4, BG white, BG opacity 50, rounded full and cursor pointer. We also want to chuck an at click event on this and that's going to look like that. So show full video is false. And then inside there, we're going to have a chevron left and that is going to look like that. So the fill color is white and the size is 40. And now all we do for this, underneath, we take this video above, copy it, go beneath, Go beneath this div, paste it in, and all we're gonna do is add the word controls, and that is it. Oh no, we need to change the class as well. So the width is not on there, let's remove this height. So W, and then a custom width is just gonna be 100 view width. And then this right and top, remove it and add height full and object fit and i'm pretty sure that's it save let's go back just give it a little refresh and that is looking absolutely fantastic let's make this a bit bigger like so awesome right scroll is all working that looks fantastic we can drag change video looking awesome yeah very nice now what if we click oh nearly almost what's this we still got this gradient on it. So if we just say in our code, let's copy this show full video, copy it, paste it onto this long div at the top, the gradient, and just say, if it's false, save it. And now let's have a look. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let's open him up a little bit. Oh, yeah, man. Let's press the back button. Go back. Beautiful, look at that. Give them a scroll, scroll on the other videos. That's all working. Massive bulldozer over there. Let's have a click. Oh, fantastic, we're done. And there you go, Netflix television version. How easy was that? Nice and easy.